Hello viewers, I am Biswajit and you are watching Curiosity Squared. Here is a monstrous looking phone algebra problem. So we have to solve for all real numbers x for which x square minus 7x plus 11 all raised to the power x square minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 1. A similar problem was given to high school students in United States with an average of 30 minutes to solve each question. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try and when you are ready, keep watching the video for a solution. How can we solve this problem? Well, before going to the solution, let me tell you the fun part. Imagine you are stuck on this problem. Many students today will check on various websites and apps for a step-by-step -step solution. But for this problem, interestingly many online servers don't give the correct answer. Photomath, which has over 100 million downloads, cannot solve this problem. It does not provide step-by-step -step solutions and the graph it suggests is quite wrong. Similarly, Mathway is able to find 4 of the solutions. But in fact, there are six, so they miss two of the solutions. A graph on Desmos which suggests there are four solutions, but as I demonstrated before, there are actually six solutions. Ulfam Alpha is able to find all the six solutions, but since solvers can miss the solutions, we definitely need to check and solve it our own. So how can we solve this problem? We will work case by case and remember our exponent rules. So one way that we can get a result of one is if we have one to the power of any number that will be equal to one. So we need to set the base equation equal to one. This will imply x square minus seven x plus 11 is equal to one. And we can factor this out to get the quantity x minus two times the quantity x minus five is equal to 0. This equation gives two solutions that is 2 and 5 but this is not the only way we get the result of 1. Another case if we have any non-zero number raised to the power of 0 that will be equal to 1. So we can set the exponent equal to 0. This implies x square minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 0. Now we can factor this into x minus 6 times the quantity x minus 7. This gives us two solutions of x equal to 6 and x equal to 7. Now we also want to check the base is not equal to 0 because 0 power 0 is an indeterminate form. So we quickly do that and we see there is no problem. So in fact x equal to 6 and x equal to 7 are also the solutions. But there is one more way that we can get a result of 1. That all of the servers except Ulfa Malfa miss. And this is the case we have negative 1 raised to the power of an even number. That will be exactly equal to 1. So we need to set the base equal to minus 1. And then we have to check if the exponent is an even number. So we set the base x square minus 7x plus 11 is equal to minus 1. Then we solve this equation by factoring and we get two solutions that is x equal to 3 and x equal to 4. And now we should check they are the actual solutions or not because we have to check the exponent is even or not. So let's do some real quick calculations and here we see the exponent in each of the cases will be an even number. As 12 and 6 are even numbers, so in fact x equal to 3 and x equal to 4 are actual solutions. So there are 6 solutions to this problem. x equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And another fun question for you guys. What happens when you multiply all of the solutions? Well, you need to read out the following sentence. Did you figure it out? 
Thanks for watching this video. These math videos which can be watched for free on YouTube inspire and build confidence for people around the world. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos and if you like my work please share my videos to support me. So thanks for watching and thanks for your support.